Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. <laughs> My cat Harvey is just plodding around next to me right now. So if you see a towel pop up, that is why. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back oh, for another weekly vlog. We are back. <laughs> Pesty boy. We are back in Sydney. Oh my goodness. I'm back in Sydney. I got home about a week ago. It's currently Monday. We got back last Monday in the evening. So we ha I have been home for about a week. And honestly, since I've been back, I felt, I've just felt really out of it. I felt really weird. Not in like the jet lag way. I've just felt, I don't know, a bit all over the shop. And there is probably a few reasons for that. Obviously, yes, coming home after a big holiday, I think you do feel a little bit like sad and a bit probably as well like without the marathon it's like oh what am i doing with my life <laughs> but also there's been some stuff happening which i'm gonna fill you guys in on really quickly that has just left me like back at i don't want to say back at square one but just feeling a little bit lost again before i get into all of that i thought i'll tell you what today's video is going to be about it is going to be another weekly vlog and that is because despite the fact the marathon's over i am training for something else now which will be very very interesting so i'm going to get into all of that and I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update as well on what's been going on. So before I get into the training, a little bit of a life update, what's been happening. On the last week of the hike, I basically got some news that my job that I told you guys about coaching, <laughs> I got let go of. It's a whole shebang, it's a whole thing. Um, if you guys wanna know more about what happened and how I'm feeling about the situation, I have done a whole podcast episode on it. So if you listen to Just Can't Hack It, or if you wanna just hear a little bit about my getting fired story, definitely go to my podcast, Just Can't Hack It, where we kind of do a deep dive on it. I'm not gonna get into it again because I did a full explanation of it in the podcast. What that has meant is now I'm back to only having less work and less of an income, which as I said, it's sort of explained in the podcast. I'm feeling okay about it in terms of the job aspect, but what I'm struggling with, I guess, is it has put me in a bit of a tricky situation again financially. So I'm just managing that. I don't know, I'd also say, I don't know why exactly, but I think since being home, my mental health has been a bit rocky. I just haven't been feeling like myself, just haven't been feeling the best overall. I actually can't pinpoint what exactly is going on, but yeah, basically my mental health has been a little bit up and down lately. We're navigating that, we're navigating all of that. And training wise, since I've been home, I've sort of only just eased into it the last couple of days. The reasons for that is because, as you guys will know, I've got pretty severe runner's knee. It's actually in both knees now, I think because one leg was compensating for the other. So despite the fact the pain was really bad in my right knee, my left leg is now compensating. So both my knees <laughs> are taped up in gorgeous pink tape at the moment. So I have been easing back in. I did one run yesterday, which I'm very excited to say was with my first run club that I'm hosting. So if anyone watching, if you guys are based in Sydney, Australia and you're a female and you're looking for like an inclusive run club where the pace is a little bit slower and you just want to get to chat and have a really fun Sunday morning, casual cardio run club, my run club is for you. If you'd like to join, I'll leave the details in the description box below. I feel like I'm just yapping and not making a lot of sense. So let's get into the purpose of the training and what we're looking forward to now. Now that the marathon is over, I will be training for something else. And the thing that I am training for is high rocks. If you guys aren't familiar with high rocks, although I'm sure a lot of you are, particularly if you follow a lot of like fitness content creators, high rocks is basically a functional fitness race. Um, which involves an eight kilometer run, but after each kilometer, there is a functional fitness station. So I am training for that. That is coming up in the end of July. I'm doing it as a team, as a doubles team with my friend Ella, who's also my co-host of our podcast. We thought we'd give it a red hot crack. I feel thankful that I have a little bit of endurance built up from marathon training, but the functional fitness stations outside of the running is where I'm like, we're gonna need to put in some work. So I've developed a training program for myself for the next 12 weeks, basically, that's all gonna be high rocks targeting and high rocks focus. That will obviously incorporate some strength training, running, and those high rocks movements. So one of the high rock stations, for example, is burpee broad jumps and fuck me. I cannot do burpees to save myself. I've avoided them like a plague throughout my entire fitness journey. I really just don't like them. I am obviously gonna have to start doing them again. So there will be elements of that in the training as well. I am actually gonna head to the gym. It's now 10 to bloody one on a Monday. Just to give you an idea of how like all over the shop I am. I literally woke up at 11 o'clock this morning and I've just sort of been sitting there again, mentally just feeling a bit meh, but we're gonna get out of it. We're gonna go, I'm actually gonna get a coffee, I think, and then head straight to the gym. And I'm gonna do a lot of lower body focus session today with some high rocks elements involved, but I'm not gonna be, I think, pushing it too much because I do have to be very careful because my runner's knees, 
still a bit fresh. And yesterday, actually, after the run, I did have a lot of pain in my right leg, and that was just the 3K run. So I do have to be very, very careful and very mindful. So I might, in fact, also add some mobility work at the end of today's session. We'll see how we go. That is what is happening. It is going to be a weekly vlog of basically getting my life sorted again, figuring out what's going to be happening work-wise again, and getting into this new training box, which is High Rocks Focus. So still lots of running, still lots of gym sessions. And yeah, I'm going to try and take you along for as much of it as I can. I probably won't film today in the gym just because, yeah, mentally I'm a bit like all over the shop right now. And I think I just need to kind of focus and not think about filming. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the next set of training. Here we go again, another training block ready to go. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later, hopefully after the gym. Alright guys, I've had a very late lunch as you would have seen. I ate, ate my lunch at like 3 o'clock and I've just had a shower and I'm just getting ready. I'm going to Ella's to record a podcast episode this afternoon. It's going to be all about the marathon, like a bit of a marathon debrief. Anyone who hasn't heard enough of me talking about the marathon, posting enough content about the marathon, here we are three to four weeks later and I'm doing a podcast episode debriefing the whole thing. So by the time this YouTube episode goes up, it will be out. I'm feeling a little bit tired, but overall I feel good. Like going to the gym today did help me mentally just unwind a little bit. I had a very good session. So what I did is some body weight squats, some, I tested some lunges because I just wanted to see how the knee felt. It was iffy. <laughs> some calf raises, some leg curls, and then I did sled push, sled pull, and ski erg just to do some high rock space movements to just get a feel for it. So that was really, really good. I need to figure out how much the sled itself weighs because I know exactly what the weight that I need to be able to do for high rocks, but it's including the sled weight. So I don't know what that is. So I need to be able to do 72K pull and I think 102K push on the sled. And today I just did whatever the sled weighs plus 40 kilos and did three sets of both. So it was a good, good way to start off. And yeah, it's really... It does, it's nice getting the heart rate up and it's nice kind of getting a bit more creative with my training. I find it just keeps things a little bit more interesting. Another sad news, I don't know if I've spoken about it on here, my Apple Watch, I have a very, very old Apple Watch. I paid not a lot of money for it. I think it's like a third series Apple Watch and it is legitimately about to, legitimately about to cock it. It didn't do well overseas. It managed to survive the marathon just, but it really struggled hiking it couldn't register the hike and now when I'm strength training it's just it keeps stopping starting it's like it doesn't think I'm doing anything which is just it's just bloody rude honestly I do need to invest eventually in a new fit watch I would love to get a Garmin ideally but I have no money right now so that's a bit sad <laughs> it did struggle to track my movements today it registered I think probably half of my training session anyway I am just sitting under the heater I've just had a shower and yeah I'm about to head to Ella's to do a podcast recording so fun times ahead good morning guys don't mind the lighting it is first thing in the morning it's just after 6 a.m I was planning to actually sleep in a little bit but my kitty cats woke me up for an early fade love that at like 10 to 5 and I just wasn't able to get back to sleep so I thought you know what I'm gonna get up and go to the gym nice and early on the cards this morning I've got upper body but it's gonna be high rocks focus upper body so the plan is to do working on some push-ups so I'm gonna work on doing push-ups some assisted pull-ups lat raises shoulder press bicep curls tricep extensions and then I think I'm gonna do some burpee broad jumps and um, some rowing at the end it was a very loose plan. I'm sipping my Red Bull because I am actually quite tired, but I'm awake enough that I think it'll be hopefully a decent session. I've actually picked up a last minute shift at, at my job, so that, that's good. We'll be working this afternoon now. All right, guys, let's go do some gym.
just realised I haven't spoken since like, this morning. I have just finished work. I'm waddling with my mad doms in my legs to the train, ready to go home and go to bed. Mm, my legs, my quads are so sore. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Everybody. I am home from my little gym walkies. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> I've just got half. He's just, he's a bit mental at the moment. So I'm just trying to keep him a little bit calm. No, no, darling. So it is a quiet day today. I did sleep in a little bit. And because I have the worst doms of all time <laughs> still in my legs, I was like, I was meant to be doing a run. And I was like, I just, I can barely move still. So, oh, sitting down hurts. A walk was on the cards, got a coffee, just did like, 45 minutes of walking, 10 minutes on the bike, just try and get some movement in the legs going, which we've done. Now I'm gonna have a pretty quiet afternoon. I'm working the next three days, so gonna do some like life admin today and just keep plodding along. So nothing too exciting to report today. In terms of training, I'm having a rest day tomorrow and then Friday, I'm gonna try and do a run. I wanna do a speed run, so probably like an interval or a tempo session. And then Saturday, I'm doing a full high rocks training session after work at one of the gyms I work at. So that'll be really good. Um, and I'll try and get some content for you that day. <laughs> but yeah, that is the update and I'll catch you guys a little bit later. You're a bit mental at the moment, aren't you, darling? A bit mental. Yeah, hello, you making some bread? Good morning, guys. Oh my gosh, look at the state of me. I just wanted to quickly say, Thursday morning I'm off to work. It has been three full days since I trained legs. I trained legs on Monday and I still have the worst motherfucking doms of my life in my quads, particularly my right quad. And I don't even know what I did that was that bad. Like I didn't do any leg extension. I did body weight squats. I did do some high rocks movements, like sled push and stuff. But I'm like, I don't think that would be really that bad. I don't know what I've done, but my quads are just not recovering the way I would like them to. I did not get enough sleep last night either. So no training today, just work. And then after work, probably not gonna do anything to be honest. Gonna come home, have a little bit of a cheeky shower and go to bed early since it's, you know, quarter to five in the morning right now. And I've been up since 3.30, courtesy of my cat Harvey, who's still going bonkers. Love that for me. Oh, this is not a flattering angle, sorry. I'm a bit embarrassed as I surprisingly a few people on the platform at this time of the morning. Crazy. All right, catch up with you guys soon. It's happy Friday. I am just at work, hence why my voice is a little bit lower. It's been a pretty good day. Had an amazing run this morning. I did a tempo run. It was gonna be six Ks, but it ended up being five just because I ran out of time. And then I've just been at work pretty much ever since. I had to rush home from the run to get here on time. So that's been today. Tomorrow I'm working in the morning and then I'm gonna do a high rocks training session. Here it goes. I'll catch you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Happy Saturday. I've just gotten out of bed and chucked on my work clothes. I a jumper. I am particularly tired today. <laughs> oh. So for context, everybody, my partner has gone away for the weekend with some friends. So it's just me and my two kitty cats and Harvey still being a bit crazy and a bit unmedicated. Let's just say he did not sleep well through the night and I've been up with him on and off since 3am. It's legitimately like having a bloody baby. No, no, I'm gonna plat it. <sighs> you know you're tired when you're literally struggling to fight your bloody hair. Fuck it. All right, I'm gonna do like minimal makeup as I'm training after, and I'll sweat it all off. <sighs> Seriously, what is my face?
washing my makeup brushes is on the to-do list for at some point this weekend. That's you guys. Say hi, Google. Just gonna speed up the process as I have to leave the house in 10 minutes. And I wanna have breakfast before I go. I'm just gonna put some conceal on my little kitty boots as there are quite a few of them at the moment. And then browse this car and we're done. Minimal, oh, minimal face of makeup done. Now I'm gonna have some yogurt and granola. And I need to quickly pack my gym clothes. And I'm gonna get a coffee, then I'm gonna go to work. <laughs> I have just finished work and I've also just finished my little high rocks workout. I say little, it was brutal. Like that was, I'll insert a photo of what I was <laughs> aiming to do today. And let me tell you, I did two rounds instead of four. And in terms of the burpees, I literally could do, my max was I think five today. I had to do 40 meters of burpee broad jumps, could do about five. And I don't think my jumps are that far that, that would cover 40. <laughs> 40 meters and I really battle on one side of my body trying to do lunges so currently basically what I've learned today is I'm really gonna have to work on my burpees and my lunges I managed to do all the other high rocks movements okay yes they were fucking tough and yes I battled a lot and I probably couldn't do like the four rounds that I was meant to but I know I can do them but I think in terms of actually getting the movements down properly and just getting more confident I really need to work on the lunges and the burpees it was a humbling experience. So now the work is done, gym is done. I'm gonna go home. I am freaking starving after that. So I'm gonna heat up. I think I've got some leftovers at home that I'm gonna have. And I'm just gonna have a very cruisy afternoon with the kitty cats. My God, I'm so tired from one of them. I think I explained this morning. I don't even know. This one is a blur. I was so tired um, from Harvey being a little pissed last night. So I'm gonna have a very quiet, quiet afternoon. I've got to think about what I'm going to do for dinner as well. It's hard when my partner's away because he's the chef. We'll see, we'll see. Good morning guys. Happy Sunday. So random. I don't think I've mentioned this on the vlogs yet. And apologies if I have. But I basically started a run club and Sunday is run club day. Sorry, I am in the city now. So there will be a bit of background noise. I'm just basically running into work just to drop some stuff off because I'm going to use the facilities like sauna spa etc after the run i think <laughs> this car got to get hit by a car don't mind me so dropping my stuff at work and i'm heading down to the harbour to meet up with a few people for run club very exciting it's a bit chilly today though and i don't like running in leggings so i'm shorts but i think i will be keeping my jumper with me all right guys you're gonna dump my stuff and i'll pick you up for run club finished up at the gym where I had little sauna, spa, steam room, cold plunge, sesh. It's actually quite late in the day now. It's like 
two o'clock ish so i'm gonna quickly duck home chuck my phone on charge because it's about to die check on the kitty cats just check on harvey basically make sure he hasn't done anything stupid and then i'm gonna go run a few errands i need to go get some stuff from pet barn and then go grocery shopping i need to do washing but it's been such a fun day like honestly i've learned so much like i've just learned how running can be so much more enjoyable with people not that i from the training of the marathon like it just got so hard and it's just so nice to do it in a really enjoyable way as part of my week obviously i'm still doing runs outside of this but it's just very nice to do running in like a very social chill way and i'm really excited and happy that run clubs kicked off it's just nice to have like a nice group of girls that can get together every week and the weather was beautiful and just vibe you know anyway i don't know if i'll pick the vlog up again at any point today so i might wrap it up here i hope you enjoyed the weekly vlog getting back in training for high rocks run club just all the things and i'm really excited to take everyone along on the next training adventure for high rocks signing off now thank you so much for watching a little cheeky reminder to hit that subscribe button please and like the video if you enjoyed it we do all the things together here and i'll see you in the next one bye